Canada sends soldiers to migrant border crossings between New York and Quebec. Hello folks, my name is Jen, I'm from Golden State Times, and today we have a new story. This one comes courtesy of the Miami Herald, and it says that the latest on the increased flow of migrants over the U.S.-Canadian border at a remote spot in northern New York and southern Quebec, it says that Canada has sent over 100 soldiers to a remote spot on the Quebec-New York border where asylum seekers are crossing illegally. The Canadian military said in a statement on Wednesday that the soldiers will help the Royal Canadian Mounted Police and the Canada Border Service Agency at that site. They are preparing to place tents that can hold up to 500 people and they will also install lighting and heating equipment. It says that the military says that the soldiers won't play a role in security and, and won't be helping with law enforcement. The military says that once the site is completed, only a few soldiers will stay behind. The rest will go back to their home base. The migrants fear that the U.S. is becoming less welcoming and has decided to try their luck seeking asylum in Canada. Officials estimate that 400 people crossed that border site uh, on Sunday alone. So this past Sunday, folks, 400 people crossed that border crossing that is like in a remote part of New York, like northern New York, going into Quebec. So um, that's what's going on. It says thousands of immigrants are fleeing the United States for Canada via remote back road in upstate New York. Canadians arrest the immigrants as soon as they step across the border, but immigrants prefer to take a chance seeking asylum in Canada rather than risking being deported from the United States. Canadian police have set up a reception center at, on their side of the border. It includes tents where migrants are processed before they are turned over to government agency, then handles their applications for refuge. Officials estimate that 400 people crossed the border on the site on Sunday alone. Canada said last week it plans to house some immigrants on Montreal's Olympic Stadium. It could hold thousands, but currently plans only call for 450. So, they want 450 people at that Olympic Stadium, but I'm sure they're going to up that to probably a few thousand. And um, they're also going to build a tent city since, you know, folks, that tent cities work so much. Look what happened in uh, in France and in other European nations when they started building up tent cities to place these, quote unquote, migrants. And, um, you know, and, and it's just create chaos there was rampant violence, raping. There was also um, these migrants, you know, they, they started to request things. And when they didn't get them, they will burn the places down. OK, so the good thing is that this is starting to become Canada's problem. OK, now what the Trump administration needs to do is they need to enforce both sides of the border. As much enforcement as we have on the south side, now we need it on the northern side. Because Canada, in the future, is going to become a hotbed for terrorist uh, recruitment, for terrorist uh, training and all that stuff. So we have to be careful from both from the northern part now because they're just receiving all these migrants from everywhere, unvetted, nothing. You know, so we don't know if a bunch of terrorists are coming in. And they are recruiting and training in Canada and they can potentially cause harm to the United States coming from the northern border. So let us know what you guys think about this, folks. For one part, it's a good thing that all of this is, you know, all of these people are going to Canada. OK, so it's not our problem anymore. It's not the American taxpayer that has to pay for these people that don't belong here. Uh, now they're going to Canada saying that, you know, they will try their luck over there instead of over here. Because they fear that they might get deported if they stay in the United States. So that's a good thing for us, to for the taxpayer. Now we need to enforce our security up in the northern border. I'm not talking about building a wall or anything like that. But, you know, for now, making sure that um, anybody that comes through is screened, it's vetted, it's double vetted. And uh, so, you know, how do they say extreme vetting? Um, so all of that stuff needs to be, in, you know... You know, it needs to be 
uh, looked into and make sure that it starts pretty soon. Because like I said, Canada is just bringing people in by the boatload, by the busload. They're just taking people in. Okay. So let us know what you guys think about this. This is some pretty crazy stuff. It's developing, folks. We'll stay on this and we'll bring you guys up any more updates or anything like that. Um, if you guys missed a press briefing uh, from the Department of State, that should be coming up on your screen. Uh, she went into the whole issue with North Korea, Kim Jong Un, and uh, um, and also she talked about uh, James Ma Mad Dog Mattis talking about North Korea and emphasizing what the president has said yesterday. And he also gave his take on North Korea and what he thinks about that threat. So if you guys missed that, it should be coming up on your screen. We also uh, did a report on James Mad Dog Mattis. If you guys missed that one, it should also be coming up on your screen. Uh, go to goldenstatetimes.com if you guys want to sign up for our newsletter. Uh, all you have to do is just put in your, your email and then we'll send it to your inbox every other day full of news and articles and videos and past live streams, future live streams, all that stuff. And uh, last thing, we, try, we are trying to get to the next Trump rally. It's going to happen sometime in September. And uh, we're trying to get there. But we need some uh, help from, from you folks, from the viewers. And uh, we have a GoFundMe if you guys want to go and check it out. The link should be on our website at goldenstatetimes.com. It should say GoFundMe at the bottom. You guys click on it. It'll take you to the site. And uh, if you guys don't want to go through GoFundMe, we, you, you, know, you can also help through PayPal. The link for that is also on our website at goldenstatetimes.com. And, uh, and we, uh, we thank you in advance, dollar, five dollars, whatever you guys can help us out with. We're trying to get there. We have press passes and we're trying to use our own cameras and, and stream it using our own cameras and uh, panning the crowd and all that stuff. We want to do all that stuff for you guys. So if you want to help, go to goldenstatetimes.com. Also sign up for our newsletter at the same spot. And I'll see you guys here next time. My name is Jen. I'm from Golden State Times and I'll see you soon. Peace.